My therapist once pointed out that I speak in third person to distance myself from the pain. She also said that I apologize far too often for no reason. Hmm. This is true. Sorry. But this led me to question whether the distance she speaks of is but the duality of my Gemini, or maybe that's the pain part. Either way, I'd like to start by introducing myself. Hi, my name is Danielle. I go by B. I am an air sign, enjoy long walks in the park, usually at night. Pun perfectly intended, I really do. And sometimes, I forget things. A lot. I like wearing white gym socks with everything. I love boys, poetry, and Jesus. Not in that particular order. I am black. My mother says we are more Heinz 57. She raised me third generation matriarchy. My father's side is muddled with Cherokee. Didn't know, the, didn't know his father, so the cycle he'd repeat. My favorite foods are bread, potatoes, and veggies. In that exact order. I am loud and aggressive. I tend to dominate conversations, and I do my best to tell the truth in most situations. I like stability. There are homes that aren't safe for keeping. Mm, that's wrong. There are homes that aren't safe for sleeping. Items that aren't worth keeping, but Danielle is a hoarder. She suffers from PTSD, memory loss, and obsessive compulsive disorder. So, she makes fun of herself. So she can beat you to the punch. My therapist warns me that battles waged against the critical voice cannot be won. She is right. My whole life a fight raging in spite of the dying of the light. Some things are purposed only for the darkness. What is a sin in secret if it is hidden? No one can see it. Danielle wears her sins on sleeves for she is heartless. Sports gluttony in plain sight tries to pack as much into her stomach as her chest is agape. Danielle was raped by definition. Didn't put up much of a fight, he liked it too much. I can admit that as a kid I was oversexualized. Past pain along at daycare like telephone messages and chicken pox and a game of duck duck goose. When I got older, I had a spurt of promiscuity. Though I was never loose, just too uptight about definitions. I've always preferred to be defined by my accomplishments. I'm 24 years old. I've seen more things in my life than God would ever bother to daunt you with. I mean, haunt you with. What exactly are you haunted by, asked my therapist. What's that? That's Matt. Who's Matt? Laugh. She lifts an ear. I apologize and explain that I enjoy rhyming games. She says I really should take myself more seriously. I find myself laughing in most awkward situations, or sometimes I just shrug. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Woo!